Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon to you all, our brothers and sisters. Welcome back to the bookies. Family. Yeah, I'm back, guys, though I'm not yet still well. As you can see, this side of the cheek is a little bit bigger than this side. Yeah, for those who are new here, I do have my tooth. Uh, two days ago and I'm still a little bit hurting but I'll be fine inshallah. inshallah yes my name is Rashida and I'm Omar and today we are back with another reaction. beautiful reaction and this video was recommended by a brother was it a yeah. brother or a sister yeah by, by a brother yes Maybe. and we would like to thank all those <coughs> who are um, recommending videos yeah. may Allah bless you even if you've not recommended but you've watched or you're yeah. watching our video right now yeah. or you've watched our videos may Allah bless you may Allah grant you Janet of all doubts may Allah give you all the blessings on this dunya and akhirah today we are reacting on a video called the arrival of oh, hell yeah. Ooh, judgment day. Judgment day. But Omar, you know I'm, I'm still in pain and you. <laughs> You're showing me so these videos. Oh, I, I don't know the video yet. Let's see what is in the video here. Yeah. Okay, they're saying it's a power, power, oh, powerful. It's so powerful. Mm. Okay, let's go straight to the video. At that moment, brothers and sisters, the judgment starts. And the judgment starts in a majestic scene where the sky rips open and waves and waves of angels come down and stand in a straight line in front of the throne of Allah. Then it rips open again and waves and waves of angels come down and stand in a straight line. Seven lines, one for each sky. The angels of each sky come down from the sky and stand in a line in front of Allah. And we all know this verse, subhanAllah. وَجَاءَ رَبُّكَ وَالْمَلَكُ صَفًّا صَفًّا And Allah and the angels will come in robes. And brothers and sisters, at that moment, the hardest part, the hardest part of the hereafter, the coming of hellfire. Imagine the scene again, the throne, seven lines of angels. The perimeter is secure. There are angels all around us. No one is going anywhere. All the creation of Allah is in the middle. And Allah calls on hellfire to come. And hellfire, brothers and sisters, is not a pit. It is a roaring, raging beast that is held down by 70,000 chains. Holding each chain is 70,000 angels. وَجَاءَ رَبُّكَ وَالْمَلَكُ صَفًّا صَفًّا وَجِيءَ يَوْمَئِذٍ بِجَهَنَّمْ And the hellfire will come about. And when the hellfire comes, brothers and sisters, there is no scene more terrifying on the Day of Judgment than that scene. Even the Prophet ﷺ told Umar that, Ya Umar, if you did the deeds of 70 prophets, you would still be afraid at that moment when hellfire comes. And when hellfire comes, brothers and sisters, every creation of Allah, martyrs, prophets, believers, non-believers, they will fall to their knees. وَتَرَى كُلَّ أُمَّةٍ جَاثِيَةٍ You will see every ummah on their knees. All they are saying is, Oh Allah, protect us. Oh Allah, protect us. And hellfire comes in, raging and roaring. A neck shoots out of hellfire. And just like there are people that go to Jannah without any punishment or any judgment, there are people that will go to hellfire without any judgment. And if hellfire looks at you, then you are one of its inhabitants. So every person, their eyes are to the ground. They're afraid to look up. And all they can hear is the raging and roaring. Brothers and sisters, I want you to listen to this dialogue. 
I want you to listen to the words of Allah coming down from seven skies. When he tells us this in the Quran, this is the scene, this is the dialogue. Did I not tell you, O children of Adam, that you should not worship shaitan? Verily, he is an obvious enemy to you and that you should only worship me. This is the straight path. Allah will tell us this. And indeed, shaitan has misguided and led astray many of you. Could you not understand this? Could you not realize this? Could you not comprehend this? Here is hellfire that I promised you. Here it is. May Allah protect us, brothers and sisters. Hey. Oh, may Allah protect us from hellfire. Amen, Ya Rabbi. Amen. Ya Allah, may Allah protect us Amen. all. Amen, Ya Rabbi. Because you cannot, we cannot handle the hellfire. We cannot. All, all we have to do is to always ask Allah to, to protect us from hellfire and to, to guide it, uh, to guide us into the straight path. Always, not to fall in the traps of shaitan. Um, this has reminded me. Um, I, I shared. There is a video I shared. Uh, somewhere and I got a comment from I don't know if this person is really a Christian or I don't know what he believes in but it's like it is not fine to be terrified of of hellfire why not who, who, who is excited about hell who really wants to, who really want I don't even want to talk about uh, him but I just no one can him. can ask for hell yeah. no one if, if you see this person hell. was trying to challenge us actually he was like challenging us that um, whatever we are talking about we don't know and uh, there is nothing all we are talking Allah about is in the is in the book all we are talking about is in the Quran and hadith the Sunnah the the acts of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam I really so, felt bad you know yeah yeah when and, when someone tells you that what you're talking about is not the right thing and you're sure it's the right thing I, I don't know what to how say how sure are you that it's not the right thing because I even told him you look for the Quran which is translated and yeah that is uh, one of the sign the, 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 the Quran is the evidence itself so no fabrication in the Quran no anything even if you bring genes and uh, mm, or human being, they cannot try to to write to change what is in the Quran. I think he was trying so, to put us down. He was like uh, yeah. trying to make us lose the faith of doing making these videos. But if you're watching this, brother, mm -hmm. I will not mention your name. Uh, please try to look for knowledge. In fact, oh. oh I, I almost even I, I almost cried because he said a lot a lot but no, we, we only we ask pray. like yeah. such people we only ask Allah to, to guide them to and that show is what them, I even told you yeah to yeah. guide them hmm. because they are not they, they don't know what is happening yeah. they don't know the right thing so yeah. you ask Allah to, to guide them yeah. and, and let, let us not get tired of looking for knowledge hmm. try to look for knowledge don't stop. Even us now, we, this is knowledge we are learning here, yeah, yeah. and we are also still learning because mm. no man, no one is perfect. No man is perfect actually. Mm. So, but what we surely believe is that Islam is the religion. It's the tr tr true religion. Yes, yeah. and it is a, it is a religion of peace. Yeah. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be so upon Allah him, Allah is the last prophet, and the Quran is the last book. Mm. Though we believe also in other books and we also believe in the other prophets. Yeah. Yeah. That means if we are believing in Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, doesn't mean mean we don't believe in the Nabi other prophets. Isa, Nabi Nabi Isa, Musa, Jesus. We believe in Jesus. Salam, yeah. We believe in Prophet Musa. We believe in all the prophets. All prophets. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, oh, let's try hard. One thing I want also to make sure uh, we will remember uh, 
is to always and always put our trust in only God. Mm -hmm. Even if it is to seek for, for so to seek to to ask for anything from Allah, mm -hmm. don't say let me ask this one to pray for me. Yes, you can ask, but mainly, mainly, and mainly, first pray for yourself, because God will hear you more than when you pass through someone. Even if it is like they tell you this person when he prays, Allah's doers are accepted. Please first pray for yourself, then maybe you can also tell that person to pray for you. That, that was it for the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below what you think about the video. Please share the video as much as possible. See you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.